Hello my soccer universe. Well, today is the Austrian national holiday, 26th of October. So yeah, I decided to wear an Austrian jersey. Well, I would have worn it anyway because Lusk won again and so I'm wearing the European home jersey from last season. Uh, and yeah, uh, this is the first of this season that we have a Monday night game in Germany, which I will not cover now because I want to keep kind of my schedule because it's getting just too crazy with keeping up and I will have to do four videos tomorrow. I'm not going to do that. Uh, the good news is I've already a Liga jersey review uh, shot. I just need to edit it so you will get this soonish as well. And yeah, since uh, birthday is coming up, there's also some nice unpacking stuff. Let's get to uh, the Bundesliga where I, German Bundesliga, where I have to say the big uh, takeaway is that the top three keep on marching and uh, even if they're winning, they're not actually absolutely happy. But the whole thing started out Friday evening. I only saw the highlights of that one the next day between Stuttgart and Köln, where Stuttgart scores the fastest goal of the season through Mangala or in the first minute, I think it was 24 seconds in or something like that. Then even hit the post a few minutes later and then the whole game uh, took a step back and a penalty gives uh, Curl the first uh, chance to score. They score and then it actually ends in a, a deserved 1-1 one, one draw that. I was actually, um, I think that the current jerseys look a whole lot, those are wagers, a whole lot like this Bayern jersey that I have up here. Um, Bayern, speaking of Bayern, Bayern Frankfurt, I mean there was only ever gonna be one winner and that's the big giants from Bavaria. Uh, Lewandowski scoring a hat-trick um, where you know the first two to the goals the Frankfurt player said it was too easy but it's just his um, uh, quality. Uh, once he had the third one uh, from in his 60th the game was done and then they just keep piling on uh, with Leroy Sané with an uh, that was a nice effort uh, and then even Musiala and I, I remember I, I saw the highlights and they say meanwhile Musiala is coming on and why am I telling you this because he scores the fifth utter destruction um, it's what happens uh, uh, very, very often when Bayern is playing at home and the funny thing is that they were not even happy with their performance. So yeah, uh, and Lewandowski, he was taking off um, shortly after uh, his goal. Was not happy initially about that but then you know, he said everything's all right. Um, Mönchengladbach had a whole lot more trouble. They won 3-2, but it was the perfect win. You lead 1-0 through Stindl. Then Mateta uh, has his crazy 15 minutes where he scores two goals and Mainz maybe is on the way to get their first points. But then uh, lots of uh, changes um, in the first quarter hour for um, Klappa Huber saving a lot, of, a lot of plays because they just played Inter, they will play Real Madrid. So uh, he brings on Turan player Hofmann and Neuhaus. I mean, that's basically the, um, all the offensive stars out there and it pays dividends in a 76 as a penalty that Hofmann can convert and then Ginter gets the winner in the 83rd. I know Bundesliga jerseys review should come soon. I will say I find the Gladbach jerseys some of the most boring Gladbach jerseys in history. Uh, and that one, uh, even the black one, is no exception. Uh, Leipzig against Hertha was a very lively game at the, at the beginning. Karl Cordoba uh, gives, after a pass by Luca Bacchio, um, gives Hertha the lead in the eighth minute. Really nicely taken. Um, but then after a corner, I think uh, Sorloth had, had and Upamecano has twice the chance to get the equalizer on the second try. He gets it. And then the game is really, really tight. However, it turns. Uh, Seevolk comes on at halftime and within five minutes he gets two yellows and is sent off and that changed the complexion, complexion of, of the game. Then it was all Leipzig. Leipzig was dominant before but Hertha was well in the game. Uh, with this uh, a man down then it should have been many 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 more goals than what Leip Leipzig actually got. They get the winner through a sub, it's a penalty but they should have scored actually more. Uh, it was then not a, really a contest any, anymore. So Leipzig, as we'll see, hang on to the lead in the Bundesliga. Um, Freiburg and Union was a very weird game because both goals were scored within a minute or two of each other. Borussia Dortmund, yeah, going over Schalke 
A funny thing is there were 300 fans in the stadium, one with Schalke jer jersey, uh, who was taken by his Dortmund friend, which I found funny and they made a big deal out of, out of, of that. Uh, Chances after chances for Dortmund. I think they stifled, they just could not find the breakthrough. Akanji finally gets the breakthrough. I think it was F after corner in the 61st. Uh, Sancho assists Holland, gets it in, and that was that. Then even Mats Hummels gets a goal. Uh, the fan left after the 2 0 because he knew there's no way back for Schalke. Uh, other results from the Bosley, I did not see anything. Wolfsburg finally gets, gets, I mean, they were 2 0 up at halftime over uh, Bielefeld. Bielefeld pulls them back, but they get the first win, and Bremen Hoffenheim ends 1 1, which is a credible result for Bremen, I have to, have to say, because Hoffenheim is, you know, always knocking on Europe. So uh, that's a gold result, and we'll see what Leverkusen will do against Augsburg. So in the standings now, we have Germany also over three goals per game scored. Um, but you know, if you see here, it's only at, the, I think, at the six point mark, you can see it in the break of so uh, spots 14 and down. But not that much movement in, anymore. I mean, yes, uh, if Leverkusen does something, uh, uh, Hoff, uh, uh, Augsburg, this will change the table again. And I will talk about this next week. But the way it stands at the moment, uh, we see the top three remain the top, 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 top three. And uh, Augsburg will not be able to break into the top, top three and Leverkusen also will not be able to break into the top three. Uh, Stuttgart is um, still holding the place up, up there and also Bremen is um, unusually high at this moment and Gladbach made a huge jump from I think the lower half now into the upper half with that win. So uh, things are still tight but I think the top three are separating themselves and it's of course again Oh, uh, it's the question for me. Shall I consider buying a Leipzig jersey? I'm On the bottom, I'm very sorry to see Köln and Schalke, two of my favorite teams there, and Mainz is also still on, on the bottom. If you look at the chances now, it is really um, Schalke and Mainz look really bad, but Köln, it, uh, you know, it, it keeps increasing. Köln has not won in a very, 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 very long time. So yeah, uh, also worried about them a little bit because I don't just don't get it. You have Leverkusen is steadily there. Yeah, they have the backing of the conk the company, but Köln is a huge club that should actually be always in the Bundesliga, but they for some reason cannot really quite get it together. Um next weekend, you know, Schalke Stuttgart would be 20 years ago a wonderful duel. Now it is very much one sided. I'm looking for the big games. Frankfurt Bremen is because two teams that I like uh, Gladbach Leipzig, I think that's the one that we will have to look out for. Gladbach Leipzig Lou, Lou looks like a proper game to look forward to, and I'm happy that we have uh, by Sunday the whole round is done. Let's finish in Austria. I just followed, I didn't really see anything, but Sal Salzburg uh, beat Austria Wien 2 0, which was the nominal uh, clash, you know, given the history of the teams. Um, Alltag for two uh, at Mira, uh, Sturm gets a, a way win at Ried Sturm getting better then i we were out yesterday uh i taped the last game I watched it in, in the evening this was other do, do, do domination and i was even thinking about i will not do it to pulling some pantera in here whoa it's like burton had one chance in the first minute and then it was all lusk all lusk they should have within 20 20 minutes have a two nil lead uh ralph alone i think in the first um 20 minutes had four chances. He had a total of seven or eight shots on goal and only made one one more goal uh, within 14 seconds uh, of the second half. They find the breakthrough through Gruber at a time when actually you thought, yeah, now the game is kind of plodding away because uh, they could not keep all the tempo up. But St. Burton was a no-show. When it was 2-0, I mean, at half it should be 3-0. It was 2-0, um, was a slight off sign by Eggestein. Grigic in the 56th gets his first goal. He should have then a few minutes later made his second. He is clear a goal. The goalkeeper, who actually made his first uh, involvement in the game, was kind of clumsy. He wanted to fist it away and it hits the ball. The ball hits wrong. It goes on the post. Uh, but then he made great saves. He kept St. Bolton uh, the score very 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 low i was very happy that we could bring on some players that we recently got that need to find the footing um and then going in a 
who I'm wearing here, he is on, uh, on the back, uh, he had this uh, huge ACL tear um, in March just before the corona break, comes back and scores a typically Goiganger goal. And as much as Lusk was, was being toyed with uh, at Tottenham, now the turn to turn around. I think it was even more uh, do domination there than uh, how Lusk was dominated at Tottenham, but you know, it felt similar. Should have been much, 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 much higher. Much, much higher there. Uh, Tirol Hartberg 1-1, one, one. both teams as we'll see, Hart, 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 Hartberg is not uh, very well. And then actually the game of the the top game is because the Wolves were the two Euro, European fighters, although the Wolves, forget the moment, is a little bit down. Well, they had a really hard uh, schedule as well. Rapid, and I, you know, I really don't like Rapid, but I have to say their are away jerseys. Uh, that's something that I, can, that I weirdly find very appealing. Uh, they get the um, they get the one nil through Schick after Kitagawa uh, assist. Then clear hands in the uh, rapid uh, penalty box, but no penalty given. We don't have war yet in Austria. Don't ask me why. Should be at the start of next season. Five hundred. And Kitagawa runs the keeper for a second goal. And you think, yeah, rapid is well on the way. However, within um, you know. Up until 67, 7 minutes, half time and so on. Within uh, 12 minutes, Wolves quick get, get level and they get him through. Yang, who uh, also rounds the keeper, make it 3 2. Game on. Well, uh, Kara in the 76th gets the equalizer and then they get a penalty in stoppage time and Rapid wins it 4 3. Absolutely crazy game. I think Wolfsburg uh, would have deserved a point out of this one. But Rapid is a uh, that, that that's the one thing they don't play. The one time they played well was against Lusk. I have to have to say, but they don't play all that well. But um, they get the wins, and that is dangerous. So let's see how they will uh, proceed from there. In the table, I think I would probably sign. I could imagine that at least the top four will stay this way because Sturm is having a really good uh, showing at at the moment. I think they're building something. That could there. Um, I'm worrying slightly about Wolfsburg at the moment, but I think they will make it into the top, top six, probably at the expense of St. Pölten. I think uh, if you ask me, uh, St. Pölten will drop to about and Wolfsburg will get in. Um, and then we might have the best championship round since we had that former, because I think both Vienna teams this time will make it in. But you know, I think the top three are already starting a little bit to separate themselves, although Lusk next round has a tricky away game to Sturm. That's a big matchup. Uh, I don't think it's a foregone con conclusion that we will get something out there, especially since we have the tough game against Ludogorets. So that was it for uh, this weekend. As I said, the leverkusen Augsburg game I'll talk uh, about next uh, week. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, let me know what you watched, drop a line below what you saw and I will talk to you soon. Bye! Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and click the little bell icon as it will remind you whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day! Bye!